Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Music Marketing TV. I'm Dan D, and thanks for tuning in to how to control multiple VSTs and its parameters with one controller. So, um, let me give you an example here. I have two harmers. I have, uh, I have this, right? Then I also have this. At the same time, and I'm gonna control them with one knob at the same time, right? Right, so I'm gonna basically show you how to do that. So, let's get on with it. I'm gonna start off with a new, a new patch so we don't get distracted and confused. Cool, and let's start off by opening up Harmer, two Harmers. Just gonna clone that. There we go. So, our first one's gonna be a bass line. And we'll make it that length. And the next one is going to be a regular line. Just so that we can hear the difference. So, again, we have a bass line on one harmer. Then we also have high pitch tone on the other. All right. So, um, let's control a whole bunch of things here. This may look confusing at first, but you know, once you understand. Uh, all the sections, it's pretty easy. All right, so let's uh, let's solo our bass line, and let's control that. Let's control this, and maybe a, our pluck over here. All right. So let's let's control all of those. So first thing we want to do is go into our envelope section over here. And look for those three things. So first one was filter one frequency over here. Second one was harmonic blur amount. And the next one is our pluck amount. Okay. So let's look for that. Start off with filter one frequency. There it is. Pop in. And we want to link it to our modulation X, Y axis controller right here. Right? Because right now it doesn't do anything. Okay. So we go to this next drop down and look for that modulation X mapping and then we just take one end over here bring it all the way up then we do that for the Y axis going all the way up and then we want to start at a you know we want to have a starting point for this thing for this uh, filter one frequency and let's bring it here actually let's bring it over here because if we bring it all the way down we won't hear anything so there we go. So that's there. That's linked. Let's look for the next item. The next knob. It's the harmonic blur amount. Let's look for that over here. Here it is. Harmonic blur amount. And then we go to the next drop down menu and do the exact same thing. In this case, we want to bring the left side all the way down for both X and Y axis. And then our starting point is going to be all the way up here. So when it goes all the way up, it should be somewhere all the way up there. barbershop when I'm getting a haircut <laughs> all right the next thing we want to look for is the pluck amount same thing go into the drop down menu and go to the pluck amount wherever that is there it is pluck amount and go to the modulation X mapping bring this right point the point on the right all the way up and same with the Y axis there we go Good. Now, our starting point for our pluck has to be all the way down. Well, maybe not all the way down, but we'll have it around there. So notice that there's a release. I bring it up in the middle. Long release. And then all the way to the top, it's pretty much infinite. Good. So all, is, all that is set now. Uh, we need to go to our next VST and do the exact same thing. So again... This is the second one. There we go. Let's mess around with the filter one frequency. Starting point is there. X axis all the way up on the right side. Same with the Y axis. Good. Next one is the harmonic blur amount. Good, good, good. X all the way down. And then Y all the way down. 
Oh, it's not doing anything. Let's bring that all the way up. Nice. And our pluck amount starting point is over there. Look for it over here. X axis all the way up. Y axis all the way up. It's pretty much faint. All right, so at least we know it's working though. Okay, so we have both our baseline and our, I guess our melody line, let's just say, working. But notice, I can't control both of them simultaneously. So we're gonna figure that out together. We're gonna open up our mixer, throw in an XY controller, and it's not hooked up to anything just yet. So let's do that. Now, in order to hook multiple things, we can't just, you know, go into our um, uh, our X axis here and then link the controller. It only does one thing at a time and then there'll be a whole bunch of conflicts. So there's another way to do this. We go to our recording panel up here. We hit multi-link, right? Multi-link to controllers. So now whatever I move, whatever I touch and tweak, it will save that and combine everything together, all right? So I want to move this. There we go. Let's take our next one. Go over here, just touch it. There we go, move it a bit, and it's saved. And now when we unclick the multi-link, it will ask us where do we want all these things to go. So my modulation X on my, on my first VST needs to go into this new Foodi XY controller. So we go here to internal controllers, and since it's uh, an x-axis, we want to hook it up to the x-axis as well. There we go. Next one, right, is the y-axis. Hook that up to the y-axis, and that's done for that VST. Next thing, we're on our second VST now, right? So there's one, one set right there, and here's the second set, all right? Go into the y-axis since it's the same thing. Don't worry about the conflicts. We don't want to remove the conflict, all right? We hit accept. And the same thing for the x-axis, do that there, and accept. And now, we can control both VSTs. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this helped you guys. Um, it's great for you know doing transitions, really cool effects with synthesizers and especially white noise. Um, you know, you don't have to go ahead and look for sounds on the internet that have been created already. You can go ahead and just do that yourself, right? So here, again, is a good example of, you know, this one controller thing. One controller does all. We can also adjust the speed on this XY controller by just moving this knob here so that it's, you know, instant or it's a really slow, gradual transition, which is great, really good for, you know, changing between choruses and verse, All right, just like that, and, uh, you know, adds a little bit of uh, ups and downs in your mix. So, I'm Dan D from Music Marketing TV, I hope this helped, if you have any comments or questions, please leave one down below, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode, peace!